Hey, Nico Fish 1000. I've been meaning to make a Pleco video, and my water cleared up yesterday for some reason. I mean, despite all this driftwood and and everything. But here's my little LA83, my favorite, well, one of my favorite little guys at the moment. Just watch his colors; they're just popping. It's nothing like when I got him; his stomach's all caved in. And that's just a happy little guy. It's cucumber here at all. Same down there. And that's my female ancestress, Tem. I really like her. Her clothes were looking super good right now, so I wanted to make the video. Usually she's kind of dull. But yeah, it's looking good. I'm gonna get them some cucumber now. See ya. Okay, I wanted to take this opportunity to show you how I make my pleco food. This is kind of stupid compared to my warm video food because it's really simple. I just kind of stab some holes in a piece of cucumber. Most I make cucumbers, sometimes I feed them spinach. Like this, and I grab some algae wafers. And just kind of shove them in there. Just like that. Another one in. I usually do around three or four. Now by doing this, I minimize a lot of waste. Because before, like pretty much half of the algae wafer would just be lost. And it just disintegrate into the sand but by doing this it pretty much stays in the cucumber yeah like this and then I get a rubber band it's just one of these ones that I get every time I buy a fish and rubber band it and yeah that's it simple easy and I uh, just feed my fish Let's see if I can get the meeting There they are. You can see the little L83's color is really dulled out. Okay. There she is. Eating some cucumber. Love this stuff. Usually they just go for the algae wafers first. are turning kind of reddish. It's a happy fish. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave her to eat now. And good night.